This is Pete Coors and uh, Doug Jones and Bruce Wagner from the National Western uh, Stock Show Association. And we're here with the Megan Douthit to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, history of the Douthit family. We've been here a long time. Our family's been coming 75 consecutive years. It actually started my grandpa and my great uncle. And in the 60s, they had a corporate split. So both families respectively came for, I'm not sure when the other side quit coming. I was pretty young. My grandpa and my dad continued it, um, and now my family is continuing it. So we're fourth generation coming out here. Why you're coming here? Why would you come here for 75 years? We use it as a marketing tool, um, and marketing in a lot of ways, from semen to heifers to the bulls to just our program. And we use this as one of our greatest learning tools of the year. We can see so many genetics and so many different styles of cattle in different programs in a limited area. For us to see this any other way, we would spend all year flying and driving to different ranches. And if we're having a problem within our herd, or they are, you can talk with other producers and find the answer and what's available um, within the industry to make us more efficient. You're learning all kinds of things about how to improve and, uh, and, and grow your cattle. Yep, we sure are, and I've talked to other producers. The Herford Association, you know, every year does updates, and they're doing a bolt system. I didn't know hardly anything about it coming out here. And now I feel like I know it pretty well just from talking to other people in the industry, which will then help us go home and use those tools in our own operation. There's a lot of livestock shows around the United States, and there's a lot of good ones, but in talking to people around that in the pens here uh, in the yard, a lot of people come to this one and probably only this one. Are you guys that way? And if so, how come, how come you come to the National Western instead of going to other livestock shows? The yards right here. The yards draw your commercial cattlemen, your everyday cattlemen. These are practical cattle, these are ranchers. These people do this day in, day out for a living. It's not a hobby, it's not a tax write-off. This pays the bills, feeds this nation, feeds the world, and it's unique. Now we're gonna have some changes in the yards uh, coming up in a, a couple of years, and I just kinda like to know your reaction. The history down here, and you hear a lot of people talk about it. I was glad to hear they're keeping like the exchange building and a few of the historic parts that make this unique. But you always need to move on and progress, and if it can be a better setup, and I know they've talked about it being more useful, being temporary, where they can do other events there, but I hope they do remember this was the purpose of it. Um, and that we need a good facility and um, the catwalk is great. Like we hear that over and over and they can see who's here and then find who they want to go see. And I hope they keep that stuff and keep the reality of what this was for. Well, the first major donation we've had to our campaign, $10 million from Ron and Seal Williams, that uh, the yards will be named in their honor and uh, in perpetuity. And I know that Ron is going to be sure that the, uh, the new yards meet your expectations in every possible way. That's what we like to hear. We're excited for it. You know, we like change, we like new things. We just want them to remember the base of why this was started and why we do all come. So happy you keep coming back. Yes, well we thank you guys for everything you've done. It takes an army to do this.